Hey everybody, this is the Digital Film Digital Photo Guy, and I'm continuing with a little bit of new information about this really nifty little camera called the Kodak PixPro AZ252. Now this baby you can find on various platform websites for like $149, under $200 B&H photo video. Uh, just look around, again, the Kodak AZ Pix Pro 252. Now, the last time I was talking about some of the various functions, this time for those people that are interested, and even if you don't have a Kodak AZ Pix Pro 252, you can apply some of this knowledge to any other bridge camera or even DSLR camera. But let's stick with the bridge camera. So what is a bridge camera? A bridge camera is one that does not have an interchangeable lens. So for example, in this Pix Pro camera, you can have a range, and this is pretty amazing, you can have a range of 24 millimeters to 600 millimeters in focal length. So what that means is you've got the distance between the optical center of the lens and the sensor in the back of the camera. And you've got a range of 24 millimeters, which is well below our natural vision, which is 35 millimeters, all the way to 600 millimeters, which is quite extraordinary. Think of it this way. It would be as if your eyes could bug out and zoom, 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 zoom to magnify something to 600 millimeters. If your eyes were not bugging out and were at their natural state, you would be at 24 millimeters. Now, our natural vision in millimeter size is 35. So what that means essentially and you're going to hear my voice show you an illustration with some shots in which I go to a regular 24 millimeter focal length, and then I go well past that. I don't know if I ever get to 600 millimeters, but I do get up there. So let me explain what 25 optical zoom means, because that's what this baby offers, a 25 times optical zoom. What that means essentially is if you take the lowest focal length, which again for this is 24 millimeters, and you multiply 25 times 24, you get 600 millimeters in the largest telephoto focal length. That's pretty darn good, y'all. For buying a camera that's under $200, where you don't have to interchange lenses, that means you can be like on a cruise, I hear they're going really cheap nowadays, and you can look out at the ocean, and you don't have to zoom at all because you want to get the widest angle possible. When you're taking images and you don't zoom your camera, what you're doing essentially is you're keeping, in this case, the camera at a 24 millimeter focal length. That means you're not zooming. When you have it at a 24 millimeter focal length, you're getting a very wide angle of view. That's what we call the width of a shot wide angle of view. You get your widest angle of view when you take a shot, let's say of the ocean, you're on a cruise, and you don't zoom in. Now this baby allows you to go from 24 millimeters all the way to 600. So let's say you're on that cruise, by the way, they're going very cheap, and you see a dolphin. And you want to zoom in and get that dolphin, but it's really far away. You zoom, 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 all you want to do is zoom, 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 zoom. That's a song. And you get that dolphin fairly clear, a good shot. You might have increased your focal length to 500 millimeters because you kept zooming. That's what this baby allows you to do. Now, let's take a look at some images that I took here at my job. I'm a photo teacher to show you how the shot changes when we start at the most lowest millimeter in size, which in this case, 24 millimeters, and I increase it. Let's take a look. Here we go. This shot is set up at a regular 24 millimeter focal length, and you'll see that you get a lot of wide angle uh, view of the setting, and this is the most lowest millimeter size focal this length. shot, now in this shot, I did zoom in a little bit. I don't get a reading on the focal length, but you can see that the subject is brought in a little bigger, and that means that the width of the shot is getting more narrow. Therefore, my 24 millimeters has increased. When you zoom, you increase your focal length. Now in this shot, you see that the subject is brought a lot closer to the photographer myself and you see that it's getting more narrow and you still see good detail in the shot this is a larger focal length than the previous shot
And here we go, we're getting much closer. The subject size is larger. We're more zoomed in and therefore more narrow. And millimeters wise, this would be a much larger number. And finally, in the last image, you can see this is the largest focal length adjustment that I used for this illustration. And this would be the biggest number in millimeters of all the focal lengths that I just showed you. All right, everybody, that's been a little bit about focal lengths. Uh, if you like what you saw, you like what you hear, I'll be putting more vid out about shutter speeds, apertures, all the other technical mumbo jumbo that you want to know if you're not in really to the world of film or photography in this case. I will help you learn that. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Peace.